The brain is an organ that allows the coordinated information of 86 billion neurons. It's probably one of the most incredible examples of how collaboration and coordination can give rise to things that are truly extraordinary. What I think is really special about this new building is that it is going to allow us to work at the same level of principles, allowing partnerships and collaborations towards moonshot goals to really understand how the human brain works and use that information to solve some of the most difficult problems. Patients who have neurodegenerative diseases are seen in this building. This is the center of our memory and aging center, of our Parkinson center. And this is a place where those patients will come and not only get treatment, but also avail themselves to the newest therapeutics that are being developed in the laboratories just on the floors above. I am a developmental neuroscientist, and my interest as a neurologist is focusing on neurodevelopmental disorders. One thing that I'm really excited about with the WILD building is the ability to be next door to colleagues from neurosurgery, neuropathology, psychiatry. It's amazing how it's brought together different researchers and created neighborhoods, groups with different expertise and skill sets and toolkits to study the human brain. Advancing health comes from fundamental discoveries, and there couldn't be a bigger threat to world health than mental health disease. So Sandy and Joan, by providing a high visibility gift, shine a spotlight on that. The reason we chose UCSF was partly because we saw how collaborative everybody was working together. And to see the dedication and the passion of Steve Hauser and all the other neuroscientists from UCSF was really inspiring to us. It seemed like something that we should do with a great institution, a public institution, where people come here because they want to do a lot of good, and we want to help that happen. Sandy and Joan's insistence from day one that we bring disciplines that historically have been largely siloed and treated as a single entity. And that grew into the Weill Institute for Neurosciences here at UCSF. Brain diseases are common and costly. They affect a billion people each year. But recent advances have increased our confidence that if we can mobilize the intellectual and other resources needed, terrible problems like Alzheimer's might be understandable and treatable and maybe even preventable. When someone comes in and if they're being seen for Parkinsonism, their sleep problems, their mood problems, um, which are all you know, incredibly important in those areas, are all attended to because we are working as a team together and there are no boundaries between the care that is going to be provided for the whole person. That integration also has tremendous potential scientifically and it's happening all over UCSF. One of the most exciting things about doing neuroscience right now is that the technologies are finally catching up to the kinds of questions we need to answer. Only over the past five to 10 years have we been able to look at the genes expressed by individual cells. So this revolution in single cell transcriptomics is totally changing the way we understand the diversity of cell types in the brain. Having a building where everybody can just sit in the same space where they can see all these different specialists in one setting is really powerful and impactful. And I think just when you come into the building, that large atrium looking at the sky exudes a sense of hope. It makes us feel that we can achieve the impossible.